Hey guys, so, um, okay, this is a movie review. Hello guys, welcome back to the channel. So, I recently went with Sherelle, one of my best friends. We went to go watch Zola, and we went to go watch the new Purge movie. And this is my review on both of them. I was gonna, I was gonna do two separate reviews of both, but I'm like, fuck it, I'm gonna just do them all here. Um, first, let me get into Zola. Um, so, I went in, you know, open-minded, but like, you know, I'm probably getting into black in this movie and shit. Um, I'm be 100. Um, I, literally, majority of the characters I fucking hated. Zola was the only character I really cared for. And, um, yeah. And it's like one of the, you know, it's one of those movies where, like, you're just like, what the fuck am I watching? Like, this movie has become such a train wreck and shit. Um, yeah. Uh, the ending makes no fucking sense at all. And I kept literally thinking that Zola's gonna finally snap and, like, and literally beat the shit out of homegirl or putting her in a situation she's... You guys not familiar with Zola. It's a movie. So this girl Zola, she's a waitress. She meets this crazy white girl at her restaurant. And they become friends. And the next day, um, homegirl invites Zola to go with her on a trip dancing. And it turns out that's not what the hell's going on. Um, homegirl turns out she's a prostitute. And she she lied to Zola about the trip. He, he, you know, the main purpose of the trip and shit. And so, Zola ends up meeting homegirl's pimp and her boyfriend, which are both fucking annoying. Her pimp was a literal fucking asshole. Like, I literally wanted to beat the fuck out of him. I didn't really... And I thought he was black. And it, apparently he wasn't. Apparently he's from, like, a different country and shit. He has an accent. I just really didn't care for him. Um, I honestly... I would give it, I would give Zola, like, I would give it a three. Only reason I'm giving it a three is because I really cared for Zola. The character, I just didn't care for Zola. I mean, any of the other fucking characters. Um, and I'm talking about for, uh, Forever Purge, which is supposedly going to be the last Purge mo movie. But I don't know about that. Anyway, um... So, um, basically, um, the plot is basically, like, so these people, it's the day after the purge, and people are, like, still purging and shit, and you have all, you have this, like, Mexican couple that they're from Mexico, and, like, the, the husband still speaks Spanish, and, you know, the wife's trying to get him to basically, you know, speak English and stuff, and so he's a cowboy, he works at this farm with this wealthy family and um sh and she goes crazy the day after the purge and it was really action I really liked it like there was just a lot of little ignorant people that were like all about you know the purge being forever and about getting all the Mexicans and shit which I mean I already knew the movie was gonna have you know a message you know about Racism and shit, and you know, anti racism and shit. And um, yeah, um, I still think that the world's gonna have a purge someday, and that's just me because of how fucked up our world is as it is. Um, I give it a 10. I literally liked it more than Zola. I did. Um, none of the purge movies have like ever disappointed me, but um, they are. They're talking about maybe doing another one. But what was crazy was this one is literally like half of it takes place in Mexico. And like, you know, um they're like fighting to get to get to Mexico to, you know, get well, they're actually fighting to get to the border so they can escape all those forever perch people and you know did the safety and shit. Like, it was crazy. Like, it's one of those movies you watch where, like, where it's like you're on, like, a carnival ride with emotions and shit. Yeah. That's basically how I felt. <laughs>
it felt to me. It might feel different to other people. But, um, love y'all and peace.